I've been meaning to cover this topic. Of course, the triggering point was me blocking somebody because they fucking tried it. But let's get to this. I asked Chat GPT, is Saitama from One Punch Man considered a no limits fallacy? Common sense should tell you no. The creator literally made his character with literally no limit to how powerful he is. Like, <sighs> fuck. Hmm. In the context of fictional narratives, especially ones like One Punch Man, Saitama's character is specifically designed to have no apparent limits to his strength. While this setup might resemble a no limits fallacy if applied in a logical argument, in fiction, it's a deliberate storytelling choice rather than a logical error. Saitama's limitless power is used for comedic and thematic purposes, serving as a satire on the superhero genre where protagonists often face increasingly powerful enemies. By having a hero who can defeat any opponent with a single punch, the series explores themes of ennui, the search for purpose, and the nature of true heroism. It doesn't fall into a logical fallacy because it's a creative and narrative device rather than an argument about reality. In short, Saitama's limitless strength is an intentional aspect of the story's parody and satire, not an example of a no-limits fallacy in a logical or argumentative sense. Exhibit A Put this motherfucker at the maximum level of power that he could attain in the final chapter of Usual Manga and made that the starting point. I wanted to be a hero when I was little. Not a salary man, but a hero who could send shameless villains flying like you with one punch. The limiter shit is explained, but it's out of order. Y'all can pause it. This is much better because it's all in one fucking place. No matter how much effort they put into it, every living being has a certain individual limitation to their growth. A living being has a set growth limit. Grow too strong or the burden of the water could make them lose control like a monster that has lost their mind. That is why God has made each and every living being so that it cannot grow further than a certain degree. For their own survival and sanity, this growth restriction is known as a limiter. However, he had pushed himself to surpass his limitations and succeeded in removing his limiter. With the limiter literally out of the equation, there is literally no limit to how much power this man has and can have. This man's strength is, is, is a literally the infinity symbol. His strength is literally the fucking infinity symbol. This man lets you know and finally managed to acquire an invincible power. And finally managed to acquire an invincible power. Everything I showed y'all when pieced together is literally screaming this motherfucker literally doesn't have a limit to his strength. I can sense an immeasurable energy. <sighs> Here I am standing on the same endless horizon of power as you, yet you're still concerned about that breath. Endless horizon of power. He's so strong, infinitely strong. Same motherfucker who's literally copying his fucking stats. Who got a huge power boost from God himself. Who's of a very higher fucking dimension. You said you were going to copy me when I'm serious and surpass me, didn't you? Go ahead and try. Isn't that the whole point of this? 
You can go at the other translation as well. Both of them are contextually lies are the same thing, bro. So strong, he's limitlessly strong. Literally telling you there's no fucking limit, bro. His name was Saitama. He became a hero for fun. Three years of special training made him lose all his hair, but he gained invincible power. He achieved such strength that he can defeat any opponent, however strong, in one punch. Bro, if that ain't screaming, the creator gave this nigga strength, no fucking literal limit, that I, I, I don't know what it does. The only exception to this is a character who can literally copy Saitama's strength where it's at right then and there. That, that, bro, it's one thing if if the creator introduced a character who has a stronger Saitama, but that's not what the fuck he did. He introduced a motherfucker, aka Garo, and gave him a power boost and gave him a hex to where he can literally just copy Saitama's strength. That's what the fuck he introduced. That says a lot. Usually you would just introduce a character who is just as strong, but no, that's not what the fuck he did. He had to introduce a character who can copy his shit. And as I showcased in other freaking videos, um, and broke down in other videos, that even when Garo copied Saitama, not even a second or nanosecond later, Saitama already surpasses that level of strength with his normal growth. I've done a video breakdown on that, if you weren't aware, several times. Damn, this video pretty far down, but I know I covered it in other videos, but this title makes it obvious. Saitama's normal rate of growth is broken. Um, this video is 10 months old, 25 minutes. Okay. If, if, if y'all want to understand just how fat his ridiculously fast his normal rate of growth is, which a lot of people didn't pay attention to it when he was duking it out with Cosmic Fear Mode Garo, y'all, oh man, the majority of the community missed out on this fucking detail that it's insane. And I just had to point this shit out. This motherfucker is literally always fucking growing in power. He doesn't need a strong opponent to push him in order to grow at fucking all. That, this motherfucker is literally the very definition of having no limit. Bro, count, bro. Thinking a plot that involved a lot of thinking and cleverness for the main character to get over any obstacle requires a lot of experience and knowledge. So I think it's a bit too hard for me in Saitama's case. All I have to do is have him show up to punch the problem away. Did this, this, bro. All of this literal evidence is makes it blatantly fucking clear that this motherfucker was made to literally have no limit. He's literally immeasurable too. There is no fucking actually measuring him. He can pull off a feat at one point at full power, but not even a second later, nanosecond, microsecond later, because his rate of growth is literally immeasurable. His normal rate of growth is fucking immeasurable. We're not going to get into his exponential rate of growth. His normal rate of growth is literally immeasurable. This is why the creator couldn't just give him an opponent who was just as strong as him because Saitama's strength literally never stops growing at an immeasurable fucking rate. Even if you were to give Saitama an opponent who was theoretically stronger than him, bro, this motherfucker's growth is so fucking ridiculously and unfairly fast that that character who was stronger than him before the fight even pops off 
Saitama would have grown already stronger than this motherfucker, bro. This, this is how he ha how how fast this motherfucker has his rate of growth. And y'all aren't comprehending this shit like at all. Y'all so infatuated on simply looking at his feast and putting him on the level of his, of his feast that y'all are ignoring every other piece of fucking information. Which is, it's fucking insane to me. Not to bring you to the comment I'm putting on blast. The video is a look. I, I pin my shit. Trolls will be blocked. I will not tolerate anybody putting their opinion over the factual information either. I have zero patience for that bullshit. It's too many people running with their head cannon and their ego is so far up their ass that they think their opinion trumps the factual fucking information. My nigga, the creator knows what the fuck he's doing. He knows what the fuck he's jotting down. He knows what he's putting in those fucking talk bubbles, bro. Those statements are all him. The creator one is an excellent fucking storyteller, bro. Excellent fucking storyteller. This man knows his shit. Stick to what the fuck's being literally said, not what you think it should be. The fuck? The video is a little too long for me. Would you mind providing a brief explanation? Fuck no. And me? I had no problem with him not wanting to watch the video. The problem comes in when you want to give your two cents and didn't watch the fucking video. Okay, now, okay, we have a fucking problem. Anyway, do you think that OPM now having infinite... The fuck? My nigga, you just refuse to watch my video. What makes you think I'm going to answer your questions in my comment section? The fucking audacity. Like, for real, bro? Wait, what? He doesn't beat Wukong. Wukong stumps. No, the fuck he don't. Entirety of anime verse at once. Th this nigga must not have watched a lot of works of fucking fiction if he actually believed that, bro. No character. No fucking fictional character is stumping out the entirety of the anime. Bro, get the fuck up out of here. This is a delusional shit I'm fucking talking about, bro. Stalemates exist for a goddamn reason. Like, the fuck? At once, infinite strength equals be able to one-shot anyone he wishes to since without any dimensionality context, his strength will be infinite, but only 3D. Now, based on all... The proof that I showed y'all. Anybody up in this bitch talking about some Saitama's only infinite 3D, you getting blocked. Because I'm not dealing with stupid people. Ain't no way you looked at all of that information I provided and actually believe to your core he's only infinite 3D. Get the fuck up out of here. The door. Let me help you to it. Because ain't no fucking way I'm entertaining this level of stupidity. If he can perform feats that get him to like above the concept of dimensionality or something, then he will probably be able to one shot anyone. My nigga, the creator literally already made this motherfucker with no limit and no end to growth in sight. The only reason Saitama didn't straight up one shot Garo was because Garo literally copied his shit. That is the only way to be able to go head up with Saitama. Now watch. The next character that Saitama goes full power on, they're going to need a hex that literally puts him on the same level of power as Saitama. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a, a one-shot and ass-whooping. Kazagaro is the first character that Saitama admitted that he can go full power on. The one and only character that he admitted. And that's all because Garo is literally able to copy this man's shit. 
even when Garo first got the power boom from, from God, that nuclear fission to the face ain't do shit to Saitama but ruin his clothes. This man ain't actually, this man ain't actually do damage, aka a scratch, until he copied Saitama strength. This man copied Saitama strength and was only able to do a scratch. This motherfucker's durability is insane. I see why a lot of people think his durability is much more than his strength. But I, me personally, I think it's on the same level. It's just his growth is just, it, it's unfair. It's cheap. It's cheap. You don't read OPM and it shows, stop it. And I told this man, refrain from giving your two cents when you have no idea what you're talking about when it comes to Saitama. You didn't even want to watch the video because you said it was too long, and that's okay. But I draw the line when you start running your mouth and you're just 100% wrong. Don't sit here and try to give your two cents on a character when you have no idea what you're talking about. Huh? I don't need permission. I block this ass right away. And then I just simply screenshotted the rest of his shit to do this video for later. Because ain't nobody finna come up in my shit talking about something you don't need permission to come up in my shit. Yeah, the fuck you do. You come sideways in the comment section, you're getting fucking blocked. It's just that simple. You, don't, you wouldn't want somebody coming up in your fucking territory disrespecting you, would you? Well, all right then. Huh? I don't need permission or be asked by anyone to comment on a YouTube video. Apparently, you fucking do on mine. And this is a fact, not an opinion. And I know a lot about Saitama. No, the fuck you don't. Not, not, not with the bullshit you just fucking, fucking ran with. You can check my community tab if you want to. Yes, I didn't watch the video because I know it's stupid. Yeah, I'm not even reading the rest of this fucking garbage. Yeah. Yeah, this video is pretty much done. Bro, Sa Saitama is not a no limits fallacy character. He don't have a fucking limit. The creator made it blatantly obvious this man don't have a limit he made it blatantly obvious that he don't want his character to be able to be fucking measured the way he set him up but yet you people sit here and still try to put a limit on this character who literally doesn't fucking have one make it make sense that ain't nothing but y'all egos at the end of the day y'all need to check it this is cool as fuck Last words for this video, the problem with the community in general, when it, especially when it comes to this character, people don't listen, and the majority of people don't have the brain capacity to properly understand the information. When your opinion steadily contradicts what's literally being said in the work of fucking fiction, bro, there's a fucking problem. There's a fucking problem, and you're the common denominator. Listen to what this man says, and this describes the community in a nutshell when they make debunk videos. They mainly say, well, this contradicts each other. This doesn't make sense. Blah, 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 blah. If it was infinite, it would be like this. The reality is, a lot of these so-called debunks aren't actually fucking debunks against the actual information, bro. They're self-proclaimed claim. Listen to what this man says. Confirmed realms, such as the heaven and earth, that potentially have their own space-time, contains more worlds to an either multiverse or multiverse plus extent. But bear with me for a second, because things can get very complicated. This whole concept is obviously a clear paradox that doesn't make sense. How can one universe hold multiple universes? However, the novel actually extends the application of this contradiction by intentionally including multiple statements that would make 
make it even more stupidly absurd, you see? Remember when we said that the Buddha's realm exists within a one- It's shit like that. Even when the work of fiction double downs on its statement saying, nah, th th this is what the fuck I meant. Like, we keep getting more statements, more confirmation of some of Saitama's immeasurable energy or limitless strength or infinitely strong statements, which we're going to keep getting fucking more. People are still going to keep doubling down despite the work of fiction doubling down on what the fuck it said. Oh, that's not what it actually means. Based on context-wise, this is no bitch. It has been saying this for the goddamn longest. And you need to stick with it. The problem is you just can't comprehend the information properly. Meaning your imagination is ass. And that's all there is to it. What's so hard to imagine a character with infinite strength that still literally keeps growing in power? It's fiction at the end of the day. You can literally take any concept you want and put your own spin and shit on it. It, it, it. It's literally just that simple. It's fiction at the end of the day. If the work is fic, if the if you constantly keep getting statements of this is what it is, then guess what? That's what it is. It, 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 and it's like people can't get that through their head. I don't care if this is like a paradox in reality, my nigga. This is fiction. If you want to have a fuck ton of universes in one fucking universe, guess what? You can do it. Why? Because it's fiction. Does it make sense to my creative side and my imagination? Yes. It makes perfect fucking sense because I can literally imagine that shit. I can literally fucking imagine that shit. What's so hard to imagine a universe with infinite with the infinite amount of universes up in this bitch of course I'm not going to be able to draw an infinite amount of universes here but in fiction guess what it's 100% doable easy you got one size universe with all infinite amount of universes in that one fucking universe. What's so hard to imagine about that, bro? Literally, what's so hard to imagine about that? What's so hard to imagine about that? Or even better. Or even fucking better. Fucking eraser. Racist shit real quick. It's still recording. I need to use this more to get my fucking points across, bro. Because y'all motherfuckers don't understand shit unless it's spelled the fuck out. Or, what's so hard to actually envision? Infinity... And that shit is still just going up after already being infinite. But infinity with more infinity equals infinite. No, the fucking don't. Not, not in this setup, it's not. This is Saitama's setup right here. This is a strength that's already infinite, but it literally never stops growing. It's basically the case of my infinity is higher than your infinity. Sound like some preschool shit? Because it is. It is some preschool shit. This is fucking fiction. You people are forgetting something so fucking important. This is fiction. The creators can take any concept, any idea that they freaking want and put their own fucking spin on it. You, do, do you know what concept I would come up with if I were to happen to make my own work of fiction? It'd be something like this. 
it'll basically be something that surpass omnipotence itself. You got your levels of infinity. Level 1 infinity. Level 2 infinity. Level 3 infinity. Level 4 infinity. Level 5 infinity. All the way up to the true infinity here. Man, that's an ugly infinity symbol. But I'm not a fucking artist. True infinity. Omnipotence. But guess what? I would make a system to where it can go beyond omnipotence. To where it can literally shut down level one omnipotence. Level three omnipotence shuts down level two omnipotence. Level four omnipotence shuts down level three omnipotence. And that's how I have my power fucking system. That way, any omnipotent character out there that already exists is getting fucking washed. Because when that level of omnipotence is higher than the previous omnipotence, but you're thinking to yourself, well, how can anything be higher than omnipotence? I just fucking created it. And when your level of omnipotence is higher, you can shut down that character's omnipotence. This is fiction at the end of the day. If you can imagine it, it's a fucking go. It's literally just that simple. It's literally just that simple. It's fucking endless. If you can imagine it, it's a go. But normally what people will do, they will see this and be like, there's nothing above omnipotent. This is bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. This omnipotent character stills with other omnipotent characters in fiction. Oh, fuck my power system that I just created. That there are le different levels of omnipotence and higher levels of omnipotence. It's what the fans want. Nigga, fuck the fans. The, 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 the fans don't even do a good job of understanding the information properly any fucking way and actually sticking to that shit. This is fiction at the end of the day, dude. These authors literally take ideas of concepts and they put their own spin on it. That's why we have so many different works of fiction with their own creativity that's what makes this shit special but we got too many stupid people trying to limit and dumbify the ideas bro come on that's all bro